And you can see how this guy was eating turtles. I haven't seen him in a long, long time. So what I'm going to do, since we've got him, is I'm going to put him in the recreation pond and we're going to go have a swim with this prehistoric creature. He does look so at home in this pond. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah. What did you get? All right. All right, who do you have? Well, so the mystery, I mean, look, it was really no mystery. We got the big gator stanley. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's look been living in here. That. And I think I figured out who's been eating the heads off my turtles, no doubt. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. Today's special shout out goes to longtime supporter, Bob Hutchinson. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Let's see, it Ooh. looks like he's got a little bit of rawness here. So I'm glad I found him because we're gonna pull him out of here. Just like a scar right there. You're not afraid he's gonna bite your hand no, right there? Because, no, no, because this is the way with alligator snappers, you can grab them right behind the neck on the carapace and you also grab them here and that, is he gonna that's get the safer. That guy? Well, I gotta be careful, yeah. Uh, you can see how this guy was eating turtles. Um, you know, he's kind of the regulator here in this here pond. This guy, you need permits, and I have my permit through Bush Wildlife because this animal came to me many, many years ago. Uh, it was confiscated, and then I operate under their uh, special authorizations permit. So he's been living here. Um, I actually had him, had him out and was gonna set him up in a different situation, a different um, enclosure, and he actually tipped over the tub and walked right back into this pond. He likes it here. So uh, when we figured out we were having some uh, issues with turtles and uh, losing their faces, my thoughts went to this animal. Um, I haven't seen him in a long, long time. My boots are over there, my hat's over there. I just realized that uh, I had seen him because as you can imagine, these guys don't really make many appearances. They kind of live in the bottom and there's plenty of smaller turtles and fish in this pond for him to eat. So what I'm gonna do, since we've got him, is I'm gonna pull him out and put him in the recreation pond and we're gonna go have a swim with this prehistoric creature in our recreation pond. Uh, so let's go ahead and get him out. Yeah, bring him closer. I wanna see yeah. his, his big can, open mouth. Oh gosh. And you can even oh, see geez. the lower tongue that gator snappers have. Oh These guys are gosh. found in the Mississippi drainages, the Mississippi River, all the way into Florida in the Panhandle. They don't come down this far south in Florida, but they're protected species, which is why you got to have the permit. Um, so great animal. Uh, as you can imagine, this is one of the largest freshwater turtles in the world. And this is, oh, let's see. Careful, don't hurt yourself. It looks like a gal. It looks like it might be a female, possibly. Um, let's go on and bring them on up. This is definitely a workout, hon. Huh? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in here. All right, children, do not go swimming yeah, no, when this guy's in there. Not that, I don't even think he would hurt them. He wouldn't think that toes are a little... Well, toes might get it. Yeah, I don't want them in here either. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and put them in, and then I'm gonna take you guys on a little expedition, and we'll figure out what we gotta do with them. It's amazing how he just sits there frozen oh. with that mouth open. Well, like that. Uh, he figures the mouth is enough to deter. I was going to start working on this aqua garden oh, cute. that Aquascape gave me, but this guy popped up as I was looking for materials. Hold okay. on, hold on. Let me get the good view here. Yeah, go ahead and stick that camera underwater, huh? Oh, yeah, wait, you can, you can telescope it. Pull it out. Nope, nope. Not like that. Just pull it forward. Now get him. Look out, fishies. Ready, set. Okay, I'm gonna go get changed and uh, I'll join you guys underwater when we see this turtle. All right, let's go find him.
Since you guys enjoyed our Turtle and Fish Pond ASMR so much last week, why not continue that journey with this beautiful alligator snapping turtle? Sit back, relax, and enjoy. How cool is that? He got himself backed up into a corner, didn't try and hurt me at all, but waited for me to move, and then he decided to split. What else is cool is you can see all the moss growing off of them, how that kind of aids in the camouflage of this species, which enables them to do what they're most known for, which is open that mouth, wiggle the tongue around, and then grab some fish. Really, really amazing prehistoric species of Chelonian. Uh, I like saying that word sometimes. It means turtle or tortoise. But anyway, we're gonna go back under and see what he's up to. So cool to follow this guy around. He really does look so at home in this pond.
What an amazing treat. To be able to spend some time with the gator snapper here as he swims right past my feet. <laughs> I'm very, very trusting. Whew. Well, a couple things. He stirs things up in this pond pretty good. And the other thing that's pretty cool is while they mostly clamber over the bottom of ponds, this guy's pretty cool. He's swimming around, very, very active. I think that's just because we put him into an unfamiliar territory. So the animal's just swimming around doing his thing. Uh, I gotta let him do this for a little while longer. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with him. Um, do I set him up in a tub? Uh, part of me almost wants to put him back in the pond, even though a couple of turtles met their end from him. Uh, that animal's been in there for a long time. And I almost feel bad pulling him out of that, if you guys understand, but I'm gonna debate what to do. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, really, really cool uh, to see him again covered in mud and algae and just looking like the prehistoric beast that he truly is. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little random video just popped up. Uh, that's what I love about being here. And the fact that I'm home so much more, uh, I'm able to see uh, a lot of the animals and be kind of privy to when creatures from my past show their heads. All right, thanks again to my friends at Bush Wildlife for uh, trusting me with this animal. Also, uh, to all of you that have been watching, stay safe out there. I'll see you guys soon on another video. Uh, I gotta go find this guy now. I hope he's not near my toes. I'll see you guys later.